Hello everyone, Sage here. Welcome to this edition of the Hot Performer Show. And in today's show, we'll be throwing some light on Goodman Group's third quarter update. So stay with us till the end. And Goodman Group on Monday released its update for the third quarter and confirmed profit guidance for the financial year 2022. The ASX listed company reaffirmed its earlier forecast for 2022, operating earnings per share growth of 23% and full year dividend of 30 cents a share. And Goodman Group is an Australian integrated commercial and industrial property group, which owns, develops and manages real estate. And this includes warehouses, large scale logistics facilities, businesses and office parks globally. And by mid-market trading session, Goodman stock traded at 19 Australian dollars 84 cents, being up 0.84 of a percent. The stock was down by 25.88% on a year-to-date basis, however. In the past one year, the stock has risen 5.34%, while in the past month, it has dropped 12.08%. And talking about a six monthly return, its shares have plunged 16.97%. So let's now quickly take a look at the key highlights from the update for the third quarter. As of 31st of March 2022, Goodman has 13.4 billion Australian dollars of development work in progress across 89 projects and the company has 3.7% like for like net property income growth in managed partnerships. And while the company's occupancy across the partnership stood at 98.7%, Goodman's liquidity stood at 2 billion Australian dollars or thereabouts, while the company's total assets under management stood at 68.7 billion Australian dollars. The real estate major has issued a warning that COVID-19 and geopolitical tensions are exerting pressure on supply chains, inflating costs and escalating execution risks. The company also said that its assets under management growth over the next few years would be mainly supported by boosts in development activities, which are likely to surpass 70 billion Australian dollars come 30th of June this year, 2022, according to Goodman Group. The company said that there was a huge demand for its properties during the period. And commenting on the development, Goodman Group CEO Greg Goodman said himself the company has had another strong quarter with their operating results reflecting the highly targeted location of their portfolio. And this has continued to produce high occupancy, cash flows and development activity. He also added that the business environment is changing with increased interest rates, inflation, geopolitical risks and the ongoing impacts of the pandemic. However, the long term structural drivers of demand have not changed. Thank you for joining us on that report. But that's all for now. We'll be back again with the Hot Performance Show tomorrow. Hope your day in trading's going well. And till the next episode, keep watching Calcine for more of the latest market updates and related insights. Sage here, signing off for now.